<laughs> I don't. Fuck. I don't. I don't understand much. But what I do understand. I used to make up for what I don't understand. My labyrinthine words. A barrage of verbiage comes out in the form of a big shadow of knowledge made up of sheer intellection cast above my peers alas cunning ruse I the ignoramus magnify my specialized knowledge with books I've chained claimed to have read and the philosophers whom I claim to understand in depth, feigning culturedness. Watchful gazers, illiterate, ostensibly unassuming, excoriate me. Shout out. You're pretentious. Stop using big words. You don't even like to read. You're compensating, you. <laughs> God. Damn pseudo intellectual. I don't think they really have criticism, but it hurts nonetheless. So my carmine heart lives, saddened by the contretemps, loses some blood, ardor. And I read at the middle of the night as an insomniac does, wishing. After failing to sleep on both sides, that there was a third side of glorious respite. Perpetually cool pillow. Silent room devoid of their screens. That side doesn't exist. Criticizers reassured me. Novels weren't real, they said devoid of their screens. <laughs> Aesthetics were contrived. I'm not sure I understand much, but I read because those who do are better off than those who don't. I'm not sure I understand much, but I do understand that the choice of reading one book simultaneously the choice of not reading another. All these ideas are stolen. But what is left? What is theft? Other than judicious imitation. The masters looked up to other masters, you know. I'm not a master. But I'm somewhat cognizant of the implications and characteristics of the historical Beguiler. Infinity. That polymorphous and elusive thing. I'm just another number amid other numbers, some much larger. Some underneath the soil that I trudge on. And Socrates said that the only thing he knew was that he knew nothing. What mendacity! <laughs> I cringe at the sound of false modesty. Until I understand I do the same thing, but without the great mind, or the ingenious creativity.